Hello and welcome to this special episode of Did Y'all See After Show. Today we're joined by our friend, a friend of Madame Noir, Dietrich Haddon. It's a wonderful thing to be with you guys. <laughs> and certainly this is a special segment because I'm here. <laughs> God bless y'all. What's up? How you doing? I ain't seen y'all in so long. I know we miss you. Y'all looking so good. Thank you. And prosperous. <laughs> Amen. Anybody got married since the? Now you all. Already... So oh, so oh, you're engaged. Yes. I was in the spirit. I was in the. Spirit. <laughs> see, that's, what you, that's what you get when you get a man of God in the building. You can see. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I'm very excited. How did you know he was the one? <laughs> it's you and me. Oh, okay. I'm just want to know. So. <laughs> Everybody tell me I'm in love, and when you get the wrong person, it ain't. That's well, good. Well, well, thank God, this is this is spirit led. So okay, good. You have a new album masterpiece. Yes. Tell us yes. about it. Well, you know, I, I'm not saying masterpiece because it's the best album ever. Even though I do feel like it's really good, and you should have it. But I, I'm saying like the good, the bad, the ugly in our lives, the ups and the downs, the twists and turns, the. The joy, the pain, the betrayal, all of it, the love, the hurt, all of it is going to come together mm -hmm. to be something beautiful. And one day you'll look back and say, you know, God was working a masterpiece in my life when I didn't realize it. Mm. So when I look at my life right now, I got to say, I got to lift my hands and say to God be the glory because it was a journey getting to this place. But now that I'm in this place, I said, man, it was good for me. to. If I had to go through it all again, I would go through it. I would say, buckle up, y'all. We're going through it all again because <laughs> this is a blessing here, you know, uh, my life, my mindset, uh, my children, my beautiful wife. It's just, it's amazing. Awesome. And your single, Restore Me Again. I was, uh, I was going through it this morning. Wait. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Well, that, that's what them, that song make you do. You make you just want to go in. <laughs> My God. I mean, I was in that place, you know, where I really needed restoration, okay. you know, and uh, and we're all in that place. If you hadn't reached that place, you, you're going to get there at some point. We all need restoration. And uh, I just wrote that song with just me, Jesus and the piano. And mm -hmm. and that's about as authentic as you will get for me, a, a song for me. I mean, that's it. You know, I said, uh, I said, uh, I've been unthankful. I've been ungrateful. Yet you still find mercy for me. Mm -hmm. I've been unfaithful, but you never stop believing in me. Lord, I've fallen short of your glory, but I refuse to let that be the end of my story. You know that to preach. Right. Right. preach. That and speaking preach. about preaching, because you do a lot of it in your music, are you preaching in your church still? No, or? no, I took a break from that because you got to be there to marry folk and bury folk and get folks out of jail. <laughs> Pastoring is, is a serious matter. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a PK, so I grew up in a pastor's home all of my life, and it's not easy. I know a lot of people look at pastoring as this glamorous job, but for me, I don't see it as that. Because if you're going to pastor people, you have to be there for people. You're pastoring them. You're shepherding them. And what is a shepherd that doesn't smell like the sheep or because he's not around them? Will you be back to doing weddings in time to do mine? Or? <laughs> <laughs> when, is, when is your wedding? It's you, going to be in January 2017. Oh, 2017? That's, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's good. You're taking your time. No, you know what? I'm just trying to get everything... In order. Okay, well, it's a process. Planning, yeah. you, you know, but the Bible's, you know, well. What you, <laughs> what you about to say? What you about to say? You know, nights get cold and get tight. You be kissing and can oh, on and be rubbing and touching. You gotta come oh, on, don't boy. prolong the time. Y'all know it gets tight at night. Oh my like God. Go on the man. Go on the man. The man. Why you making them hold out? Lord, help him to hold out. What's his name? Help. What's his name? Keno. Keno. Help Keno to hold out, Lord. <laughs> Give him strength, Jesus. Don't let him be like me. And I, I messed up real bad. Oh, my I, God. It got tight. I mean, I was rubbing and saying, hey, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some folks are not strong They're in not. that area. So you gotta, you gotta, you have to know you. You know what I'm saying? You have to know you. And if you know that you're not, you're a very affectionate person, you don't need to, don't tear it long now. And some of us can, they can, they can yeah, put, yeah, think about that. I was just, uh, shout out to, um, who was it, the Bowmans, he, uh, he, he uh, they were uh, uh, virgins right, all right. the way up until the time that they were married. So mm -hmm. I commend uh, these young people Let's that were able to do that. Yes. Yeah. Would you ever accept a purity certificate that said that your daughters, I, it's a little weird, but that your daughter's hymens were intact? Like, would it, would that be weird for you? Or what did you think about the whole certificate thing? Uh, well, I, I think I think it's amazing that she could do that, mm -hmm. and I don't personally think it's necessary right. to do that. You know, 
why would you give me that? I believe you. I trust you. Mm -hmm. You know, and and she should he should be able to trust his daughter's word. But I mean, if if that's what it took to right. make people believe, and I, I think. On the flip side, people don't believe that it can happen in our culture now. Yeah, so it's good for her to have proof to show y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> that it can be done, you know. Right. But no slight to anybody that have fallen short and, 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 and when it was tight at night, you know, slight to, no, no slight to you. It's okay, just get back on track, make the right decisions, keep it moving, okay? <laughs> Nobody's judging you, just keep on pressing in, all right, and do the right things. So what's going on with the TV shows? Preachers of L.A., Fix My Choir. What you doing? Fix My Choir, uh, I, I hope it don't come back again. Oh, why? Uh, uh, we, because it, it was tough making this, that show. Okay. Uh, the people were watching it by the millions. I mean, people really watched and they loved it. Uh, but, it, you know, some shows are hard to produce. We traveled all over the place. We were scattered with all trying to find choirs, you know, different choirs to really let people in on the culture. So it was tough. But I have something even better that's coming in 2016 in that vein. Y'all going to love this show. And I don't think I can announce it here. I may get in trouble. But uh, uh, what well, was a show in the in that vein? So okay. it's 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 a. Uh, a better version of Fix My Choir. Okay, gotcha. So uh, that's I can say that, um, and uh, we have a few other things. A few other things is happening. You always got something going on. I'm always working always. to do something. <laughs> just trying to do something. Preachers of LA. I think we we're coming back with that. I, I just love the break that we've had. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's been good. I've had a son in, during that break. Uh, you know, I lost my mother-in-law during that break, so mm -hmm. that was tough for us, and Dominique, and uh, so we made it through. We're making it through daily, uh, but it, that was a good break for us to have, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because, you know, when you go in Preachers of L.A., everything you say, people will run you down in the streets of Twitter oh, yeah. and Periscope and Instagram, <laughs> so I'm enjoying this break. So speaking about church culture with Fix My Choir and, you know, you grew up in the church. What do you think about all these news reports of all these churches who are kicking out older members because they can't pay their tithes? What? Yeah. Who's doing that? Kicking out people's grannies. That ain't no church. That's a that's some kind of a cult or something. <laughs> that ain't no church. You don't do people like that. So I don't that's not a church. That's some kind of elite club. That's not that's not church. Church is supposed to be a place where people can come together all of all ages and love one another. It's like a family. That's church, or what I know to be church. So if you're in a church like that, get out of there quick. <laughs> get out of there. That ain't there. That's crazy. He is not there. <laughs> Trust me. Not present. <laughs> so, yeah. So also talking about shady people and dealing with church. Um, on the, one of the earlier episodes of Empire this season, so they oh, did Lord. a joke on Donnie McClurklin trying to say that he was going to perform or be present at a LGBTQ mm -hmm. award show that was going to happen on the show. So how did you feel about that and did you think did you think that Lee Daniels or the Empire writers or producers crossed boundaries who were concerned that? Well, they were they were uh, letting everybody have have it on that show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they had Don Lemon on there, letting him have it to his face. So, you know, uh, I thought it was unfair for Donnie because you know his testimony. Those of us that know Donnie, Donnie is a great guy. He's a, he's a great. I lived like three doors down from him when I lived in Detroit uh, uh, some time ago. So I know Donnie is a good guy, and his his testimony has been very clear. He says he's been delivered from that lifestyle. And from what I've seen, he's been delivered for a long time. Yeah. You know, he's been holding on, you know. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate what he has contributed to gospel music and what he contributes to, to just ministry at large. So I appreciate him. So when I see shows like that, you know, take digs at people that you know and that you love and you appreciate and what they've been a blessing to you, you, you take offense to that, you know. So yeah, I was sitting there offended. I was like, what? Rewind that, Dominique. Did you hear that? I was like, rewind. What? Oh, man, who is, where is, where is Lee Dan? Let me call. Donnie Get him on the up. phone. Donnie went on Facebook and Donnie popped off. Did he? Yes, oh, he yeah. did. I thought he was like, just like, forgive him or something oh, no, like no, that. No, 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 no. Oh, he went he in? He him a read. Yes, oh, he did? I, I missed book. that. He you took Lee Daniels to the library. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it, but, you know, that, I thought it was wrong. I mean, if the man says that he's set free of something, you let that man be. 
You know, you can't you can't force everybody. And even the guy who said I'm delivered, the the big the, that situation that happened last Andy year. Andrew. If he <laughs> says that he's delivered, leave him alone. Let him be delivered. You know, <laughs> he said I'm I don't want to do that no more. You leave people alone that want to change their lifestyle. If you want to continue doing what you're doing, do it. But don't drag everybody down to saying, hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do something else. And that's the flat out truth. Mm -hmm. So you have the album, you have the single, and you have a TV show coming out. Mm -hmm. What else can we expect from you in the future? Another baby? No okay. more babies. That's <laughs> it. Thank <laughs> God. No more. It's just too, babies are expensive. It costs a lot of money to <laughs> raise a child in our culture these days. Mm -hmm. It costs at least $40,000 to have a child, period. Uh, so, and then the, the diapers and everything. Y'all send a donation my way for all these diapers. No, I got, no, I got no. three babies running around there. <laughs> well, my oldest daughter, she's out of diapers now. But y'all send send a donation my way. It'll be a blessing <laughs> to me, to my household, because diapers are expensive, and and then they grow out of these clothes so quick. And then my kids, they you know, they want all the stuff, all the the, the name brand stuff. I'm, uh, you know, so y'all y'all pray. Like Th yes, they want, they like, they got style, though. They, okay. I said, which one you want? Oh, I want that. And then you done picked the one that cost, what, $70? <laughs> Pick the one the $15 situation. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> you know, but uh, it, it's, it's all good. It's, okay. good. it's a wonderful <laughs> thing. No more kids, though. No more kids. No more okay, kids. so the album, the single, and the TV show. That's what we're looking forward to right now. Well, well, yep. So the album, November the 6th, I need everybody to go get it. I need y'all to support this. Can You know, I, I need this need to be my biggest record. And I love uh, uh, what's on the album. I know it's going to be a blessing to everybody out there. So please go and support it November the 6th. Uh, we're touring. We're going to be touring. So I'll be everywhere uh, going into the year 2016. I'll be everywhere traveling. Um, like I said, the TV shows and, and just trying to, to uh, be good at being a good father. You know, just busy doing that. You know, I, I, want, I want my kids to have balance and, 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 and I'm very present in their lives. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that. Sounds good. Well, thank you. Thank We're you done? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was so short, that? man. Come on. Thank you for joining us for this special episode of Did Y'all See After Show. We want to thank our boy, D. Hattie, Yay. coming through. <laughs> be sure to like this video below. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Madam Noir.